Does God really leave his people? Does God really leave his people? No. But sometimes it feels like it. God doesn't leave his people. He's always with his people. He's always for his people. But we can lose his comfort, can't we? We can lose his peace. We can lose his power. We can lose his leading in our lives. When we shut down our own hearts, when we close off our hearts to him, it feels as though he's left. We're going to see through Hosea, there's two kinds of misery. He's going to tell us in just a little while later, there's a wailing from our beds, and then there's the crying out from our hearts. There's two kinds of wailing. There's two kinds of crying out to God. There's a wailing from your bed when it's all about your pain, when it's all about your problems, when it's all about you trying to figure out why God's not doing a better job of taking care of you, and you shake your fist at him. There's that kind of crying out, but that's not, real, that's not repentance. That's just frustrated people who don't know what to do with their frustration. They don't know what to do with their problems in their life. And they're wailing from their bed. That's what Israel was doing at this point. But then there's the other one. We're going to talk about more in this series, crying out from our hearts. That's what God wants. A good cry from your heart to God. Have you ever done that? Have you ever literally cried out from your heart? Say, God, would you please rescue me? Would you rescue me from myself? Would you rescue me from temptation? Would you rescue me from my own plan I have on the side? He'll hear that cry, I promise you. He finds that kind of cry irresistible. That's what he's waiting to hear from us. When God leaves, he's still listening. You know, God can go far. It, it can seem like God has gone very far away from you, but he's got perfect hearing. When he gets your heart and you start to cry out, he hears you, and he responds to you. And it's almost as if he says, I'm back. Did he ever really leave? No. But it sure felt like it. He says, I'm back. You don't want God's hardening of your heart. You don't want to be a part of that. When God hardens his heart to the sinner, all he does is take his hands off and let you go the way you think you want to go. You don't want that. What does the book of Romans tell us? God's kindness leads us to repentance. 